For former President Donald Trump is ramping up his controversial rhetoric on the campaign trail over the weekend. The GOP primary frontrunner said that migrants are poisoning the blood, his words, of the United States. Washington correspondent Julia Benberg joining us now live from the White House with how the Biden administration is reacting. Julia. Good evening, Phil. Well, the White House is responding to Trump's darkening tone on the campaign trail, calling the former president's remarks over the weekend on immigration dangerous and fascist rhetoric. A White House spokesperson said that the comments are, quote, the opposite of everything we stand for as Americans. They're poisoning the blood of our country. That's what they've done. Former President Donald Trump on the campaign trail, making chilling comments about undocumented immigrants. They poison mental institutions and prisons all over the world, not just in South America, not just the three or four countries that we think about, but all over the world. They're coming into our country from Africa, from Asia, all over the world. They're pouring into our country. The former president is ramping up his anti-immigration rhetoric with the Iowa caucuses less than a month away, and polls in early voting states show that Trump still holds a commanding lead within his party. He's not only ramping up the authoritarian and racist language and making it more explicit, there's a policy agenda behind it as well. I mean, he is running on a much more militant agenda than he ran on, certainly as president in 2020. Trump, who is accused of trying to overturn the 2020 election, also quoted Russian President Vladimir Putin over the weekend about the, quote, rottenness of American democracy. Those comments also receiving major pushback, including from GOP presidential candidate Chris Christie, the most outspoken Trump critic in the Republican field. My reaction is that he gets worse and worse by the day and voters better start paying attention to exactly what he's saying. The former president has also claimed and repeated that he'd like to serve as a dictator for a day in order to finish his border wall and drill for more oil. Reporting live at the White House, Julia Benbrook, WISH TV.